Hello everyone. Today we will be talking about endangered animals in Malaysia. Tiger Malayan tiger is one of the smallest subspecies of tiger. It can be found in Malaysia and southern parts of Thailand. It survived 80 to 35 years in the wild and gained status of subspecies in 2004. Malayan tiger has high mortality rate. Back in 1950s, Malaysia was home to have many as 3,000 tigers. However, in 2014, the number of Malayan tiger was estimated to have declined to 250 to 340 tigers. India has the largest tiger population accounting for more than 80% of the global population of 3,159 adult free-ranging tigers. India now has as many as 2,967 tigers in the wild. The population has increased by nearly 33% since the last census in 2014. According to the Global Tiger Population Estimates, India has the largest population of tigers, followed by Russia, Indonesia, Malaysia and other countries. Three tigers that have been declared extinct are the Javan Tigers, Caspian Tigers and Bali Tigers. The causes of decline in numbers are due to scarcity of food, poaching and conflict with humans in village like Kelantan. Tiger is a cultural symbolism in Asian countries. The extinction will be the loss for future generations. It is a top predator which is at the apex of the food chain, thereby maintaining the balance between prey herbivores and the vegetation which upon their feet. Rhinoceros The Sumatran rhino lives in dense tropical forests in between Indonesian islands of Sumatra. It has the lifespan between 35 to 40 years and the gestation period between 15 to 16 months. It gives birth to a calf once every 3 years. The International Union for Conservation of Nature has declared the Sumatran rhino as critically endangered. It has decreased more than 70% over the last 20 years and has only 80 left in Indonesia. It was declared extinct in Malaysia in 2015 and is physically guarded by rhino protection units. Tam and Iman were Malaysia's last Sumatran rhinos which were bred in captive and died due to natural causes in the year 2019. The Javan rhino from Indonesia, the black rhino from Africa, the Sumatran rhino from Indonesia and Malaysia has been declared critically endangered, while the white rhino from Africa has been declared near threatened, the least threatened out of the other three species. Some of the causes of decline of the population of rhinos are due to illegal logging due to valuable woods such as merbau and marathi, as well as poaching, where horn prices of the rhinos can go up to 30,000 USD per kilogram. There are beliefs that amulets made from rhino horns can be used as protection against poison as well as for medicinal value where the meat can cure tuberculosis and horns can be used as an aphrodisiac. The oil from the skull can be used to treat skin diseases. So why do rhinos matter? Rhinos are important grazers which consume large amounts of vegetation which helps shape landscape of a country. It also benefits other animals and keeps a healthy balance within the ecosystem. Ecotourism can also be an important source of income for local people.
shots. Takao Mi and Arai conducted a study in six sites in southern South China Sea region to study the current status of the impacts of fisheries on shark numbers. They found that 17 out of the 28 species found in the region were declared as either endangered, vulnerable or near threatened in the IUCN Red List. The scalloped hammerhead mainly found in the waters of Sarawak were declared endangered. Treasure and sandbar shark found in the waters of East Malaysia were declared as vulnerable. Bamboo sharks like the brown banded and Indonesian bamboo sharks found in the waters of Terengganu were declared near threatened. Tiger and bull sharks found in the waters of West Malaysia were also declared as near threatened. According to WWF, Malaysia is the world's ninth largest producer of shark products, the third largest importer of shark fin volumes behind Hong Kong and mainland China. 85% of shark fin soup are usually consumed at weddings, family reunions, corporate functions and festivals. In August 25, 2019 at the CITES conference, Malaysia voted against the protection of endangered shark species proposed bill. This is due to the sharks being listed under the category of fish in the Fisheries Act under the Ministry of Agriculture, which looks more into food, protein and consumption rather than the protection of species. Causes of decline of shark species in Malaysia is due to sharks being caught together with commercially targeted fishes like tuna. Due to its characteristics of slow growing and produces few offspring, it takes a long recovery time for repopulation after being overfished. Shark finning is also another cause, as 100 million are killed annually for its fins. Sharks matter to keep populations of commercial and non-commercial fish in check and healthy by eating old, sick or slower fish. Thus, only healthier and stronger fish remains and reproduces in large numbers, keeping the marine system stable. It also helps maintain the health of coral reefs and protects the vital sea habitats. Elephants They are two subspecies of elephants in Malaysia, which is Asian elephants and Pygmy elephants. However, over the past hundred years, the forests have steadily given way to agriculture for both food and cash crops, and the wild elephants have progressively decreased. Forest clearance pay no heed to the need for elephant corridors to allow for transmigration. This gave rise to a considerable rise in human-elephant conflict. The Malay authorities' response was to set up the Elephant Management Unit in 1974 under the authority of the Department of Wildlife and National Parks. The unit has become highly specialized in elephant translocation in response to human-elephant conflicts such as moving elephant to Kelantan, Terengganu and Pahang where there is still a large amount of forest, some of which is protected as part of Taman Negara National Park. The Elephant Management Unit has also set up an elephant sanctuary in Kuala Gandah in 1989. Borneo Pikmi they are generally in appearance with shorter trunks and a smaller rounded face, which makes their ears appear larger. It migrated between Malaysia and Kalimantan. It also estimated less than 1,500 left in Sabah. According to the latest, elephant conservation status, elephant is an endangered animal which should be of our concern. The causes of decline, illegal poaching, thus is removed and body left to rot, habitat destructions, like volume of food it leads to starvation to death, thrill of hunting, the loss is present but not strictly enforced. Why elephants matter? Down, it helps it to grow and germinate, 
habitat modifiers. It creates clearing by trampling. It allows plant growth on forest floor. Water providers. Elephants made water holes allow other animals to drink. Food resource. Dung is a food resource of dung beetles and honey badger. Related theory Green theory Code 2016 stated that green theory is a development within literacy and cultural studies which is informed by the insight of ecology. Art and Gopina 2019 stated that the green political thinking generally is seen as a new ideology emerging at the end of the 20th century. The modern green ideology is formed from a complex mix of organizations, communities, and cultures. According to Tarhan 2018, the environmental problems are among those problems and they have become increasingly influential on the political agenda as more people have realized that the environment must be protected for the continuation of humanity. Sustainability Theory What is sustainability? It's a capacity to maintain or improve the state and availability of desirable materials or conditions over the long term. Sustainability is connected to desirable long-term conditions. It's an inherently applied pursuit in geography and other fields. Sustainability Theory According to Lisa Harrington, she described sustainable theory as an important concept and goals across science and society. The intertwined concept of sustainability and development are linked to concerns about the health of social ecological systems and the evident human dimensions of global change. <laughs>